Pisces, you got someone here who is completely, I don't even know if the word is amazed or shocked or scared, uh, but I'm getting full body chills as I channel this message. But the Eight of Swords talks about the mind space. This person can literally feel like you can read their mind, okay? Uh, to the point where even when they're around you, they try not to think of certain things because they think that you can peek into their mind, okay? They think that if they think about it, you're gonna pick up on that. Either energetically, you're just gonna say something that's gonna confirm what they're thinking about. Um, and it's like, it's on a whole nother level, Pisces. I don't even know like why the energy is coming so strong, but whoever this is, Pisces, they're being so careful, not just about what they say around you, okay? Not just about what they do, but what they think, okay? It's like, um, it's like they don't even feel like their own mind is like safe, okay? I don't want to say like safe from you, but like they know that you either are intuitive or you have psychic abilities or you have a lot of wisdom. They don't know how the heck you can tap into the energy so well. And what I'm getting here, Pisces, is this is the person that doesn't really believe in like, um, they don't really believe in like astrology. They don't really believe in like the esoteric stuff. They don't really believe in like spirituality, like in the way that a lot of you Pisces that are very advanced and wise do, okay? Like they're more 3D, okay? Um, not to say that they're not connected to their, you know, inner self, not to say that they're not connected to the divine, but they're very much 3D, okay? So it surprises them, it shocks them because this is something that they don't even tell anybody else. So it's like, there's no way Pisces is gonna know because it's not that someone else, Pisces, they haven't told the soul. They haven't told anyone. It hasn't left their mouth, okay? The words haven't left their mouth. So they're very shocked. Uh, and, and that's why I don't even know what kind of reaction they're getting, okay? I don't know if they're amazed, shocked, or scared, okay? Afraid of your abilities. But this is the kind of person that has to watch their thoughts around you, Pisces. Um, and I don't know, I don't know who this person is to you, but the Eight of Swords represents the mind space. Swords talks about the mental space, uh, our thoughts, okay? What happens intellectually in our minds, logically, how we make sense of things. And so... I don't know what's happening, Pisces, but this person's mind doesn't feel safe around you, okay? And I just see you in this energy, Pisces, of like, you're chuckling, okay? Like, there's a lot of wisdom to you. There's a lot of experience to you. But also, Pisces, yes, you are tapped in. You are psychic, okay? Whether you know it or not, Pisces, you were born this way. Um, and so for you, it just may be normal, okay? But people people know that you know okay that's what i'm going to call this reading they know that you know and as you can see here this person's kind of like you know they're going through some kind of mental situation here whereas you're kind of just chuckling okay like you're kind of just sitting in peace like in your throne like doing your own thing this entire library behind you okay represents all your wisdom all your knowledge gathered throughout the years of your life not even just this life but past lives okay you are a person that's very enriched um, in the way that you think, in the way that you move. You're someone who's very experienced, Pisces. And the thing is, being smart and being intelligent are two different things, but being wise is a whole nother level, okay? And what you have to you, Pisces, is not only intelligence, but wisdom, okay? So this could be a person, Pisces, who considers themselves to be smart or slick, okay? Uh, it's a person that thinks fast, okay? Because we're talking about swords energy. Uh, but you're like on another level, okay? Like there's something ancient to you. There's something ancient to your energy that's very mature, very wise, okay? Um, and I don't know, I don't know what kind of reaction they're having to you, Pisces, but it's like they feel like their mind's not safe around you, okay? So they're thinking twice before saying certain things. They're thinking twice before doing certain things. But most of all, Pisces, they're trying not to think of the things that, you know, like they're trying not to think of certain things that they wouldn't want you to pick up on, okay? Because you'll literally, Pisces, I don't even know if you know that you do this, okay? Um, and this person might have let you know, okay? Like, how did you know that, okay? How did you pick that up, okay? And for a lot of you, it's like they're just in shock. Like they won't say anything, but they'll get quiet, okay? Because they feel like their own thoughts are not safe, okay? Um... Yeah, it's like Pisces, I don't know how you do this, but you pick the energy up from the field and you put words to it, okay? This person can be feeling a feeling or an energy, but you actually articulate it and get the words out, okay? 
So a lot of people feel understood by you, Pisces, because even sometimes people don't even know what they're feeling, why they're feeling it. Maybe they don't even understand themselves, but you're so good at this, Pisces. So sometimes that's why a lot of people, you'll find that a lot of people tell Pisces their entire life story, okay? A lot of people will tell Pisces all their secrets, uh, you know, a lot of like private personal stuff, they'll go and spill the tea. And, you know, you don't even have to let me know, Pisces. I know a lot of Pisces and I know that this is something that happens to most Pisces. Pisces, people just naturally feel very comfortable with you, okay? People feel safe in your energy to the point where even strangers spill their deepest, darkest secrets to you. Um, and it's like you never even really asked, you know? People just have that, I feel like they can trust you for some reason. Um, but what I'm getting here, Pisces, is there's this very ancient energy about you that this person doesn't know how to decipher because their beliefs, okay, their beliefs around spirituality, their beliefs around astrology or energies or the universe or manifestation, it's like they're very 3D, okay? So they're like, okay, something's definitely going on here that I cannot explain, okay? They cannot explain it, but something's happening. And it's like you're opening up this person's mind, Pisces, to like another world, okay, in a sense, because they don't believe the way that you know a lot of people that are spiritual or wise or have a connection to the divine do like a lot of people that work with energies or tap into their psychic abilities or have a very strong intuition this is a person that's very logical i did this because of this like they're very much right brain okay whereas you have a full brain synchronization where you can tap in and out of both uh, hemispheres of the brain both your masculine and feminine energy so it's like you pisces there's something about you that again this person hasn't seen in anybody else um, and they feel like they got to watch their thoughts around you, okay? Um, I want to know more about this person, Pisces, but King of Pentacles is the energy that you're showing up in, okay? What I want to tell you about this, Pisces, is that uh, you are learning to master this physical reality, okay? The King of Pentacles, represented by the Pentacles, talks about the material world, our 3D reality, okay? Uh, things that you can touch, feel, and grab. So whether that's your... Uh, you know, your work, your career, your business, or your businesses, your investments, um, the physical things around your life, your home life, things that, again, that you can show for, you are coming into a new level of mastery. And that is felt, okay? People can feel that energy in you, okay? They know this about you. You don't have to say a word. People already know your position and you're showing up as a king, whether you're male or female, you're showing up in the king position. And to let you know, Pisces, this is the final card in this tarot deck, okay? It's the last card in the tarot. Um, so it's like you have advanced a lot. You have learned a lot and you've learned to master this physical reality. And sometimes that is not always... It's not always as natural for a Pisces because Pisces are more on the other side than they are here, okay? Pisces is the 12th sign on the zodiac wheel. It represents the afterlife, okay? So you're more connected to the divine. You're more connected to your spirituality then you feel connected to this world or this physical reality. And so what I want to tell you, Pisces, with the King of Pentacles is you are reaching king position in this lifetime, okay? Uh, now, okay? For a lot of you, you are coming into this position now, but in this lifetime, this is happening for you, okay? And it's saying that you've reached that level of wisdom and mastery over this physical reality, um, and you're feeling at home, Pisces. You're feeling like you're in power, you're in control, you're the one calling the shots. Um, and it's this very, like... I'm getting this very fatherly energy, whether you're male or female, I'm just getting this masculine, fatherly, like very wise, very laid back, very grounded, very peaceful energy. Um, also, what I'm getting here, Pisces, is you tend to ground people, okay? People like to be around your energy, okay? Because it just, it creates some kind of, I don't know if you've ever seen... Like when you think about like someone who's very anxious or very stressed or kind of all over the place and their nervous system is like this, you know, and like their energy is like static and it's all over the place. Like you have something about your energy, Pisces, that neutralizes, okay? It neutralizes that kind of static, you know, nervous energy. Um, and people feel very grounded around you. They feel very good. Uh, so you may find that people just make excuses to be around you, okay? To talk to you, to be in your energy. Uh, and I feel like you already know that, Pisces, but... There's something here about you that a lot of people feel drawn to um, and they don't get this energy from anybody else, okay? Like you are the source of that energy, okay? They're very attracted to you energetically for a lot of you also physically, but your energy is divine. Like your energy 
create some kind of effect within them that they can recognize the before and after, okay? When they're in your presence, how they feel, how you make them feel, and when they're not, okay? So this can be a person that seeks you out. And I'm getting that this is not the only person, Pisces, but whoever this Eight of Swords energy is, what they're feeling right now is how the heck does Pisces know, okay? They'll think about it, you'll say it. They'll feel the energy, not even know how to articulate it, and then next thing you know, you just like blurt it out, okay? Like, I don't know, Pisces. You are very tapped in. You're very tuned in. And this person's beliefs are being challenged because now they're starting to believe in psychic abilities and intuition and all of this other stuff that is just not simply within their paradigm, okay? This can either be a person that is, again, whether very 3D uh, or even like religious to the point where they, you know, deny like the spiritual side of energies and manifestation and how that works. Uh, but it's like you're challenging those beliefs, not even trying to, okay? Like unconsciously or consciously, you're just doing your thing. And clarify, Pisces, I want to know more about this person. I also want to know and clarify the King of Pentacles coming in for you, Pisces. Let's go ahead and see what comes in. Holy Spirit, what do you want Pisces to know about the Eight of Swords? What do you want Pisces to know about the Eight of Swords? Clarify the Eight of Swords for Pisces. <clears throat> Okay, we got the strength in the reverse. I'm gonna go ahead and move these cards so you can see them. Okay, we got the nine of swords in the uprights. We got the knight of wands in the reverse. You got the judgment in the uprights and the sun in the reverse. Okay, this is clarifying the eight of swords, this person, okay? Um, so what I'm getting here, Pisces, with the Nine of Swords is this person, we go Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords. This person has been a bit restless or sleepless, okay? Um, I'm even getting like this anxious energy, okay? I don't know what it is that they're going through. I don't know if this has anything to do with you. Uh, but the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords means there's a lot of mental activity. There's a lot going on in the mind space uh, that they may be trying to disassociate from or disconnect from, okay? Their mind, their thoughts are very loud at this time. Knight of Wands in the reverse. It may even create impulsive actions or like reckless actions or just doing something on a whim, okay? Like unfocused energy, very scattered energy, okay? Judgment, okay? You coming into their life is forcing some kind of a judgment call. It's forcing some kind of a level up or upgrade. The strength in the reverse. Pisces, this person doesn't feel like they can stand on their own. Okay, I don't know what that means. I don't know if this is the kind of person that always needs to be around people. I don't know if this is the kind of person that needs to always be in some kind of relationship or connection. I don't know, Pisces, but they admire your sense of independence, but they feel like they don't have they don't have that kind of independence like you do, okay? They don't have that kind of strength to stand alone like you do, okay? Um, and again, the King of Pentacles showing up as your energy, you're coming off as very mature, very wise, very experienced in life. Whereas the Knight of Wands in the reverse can be uh, an immature energy, okay? Doesn't really have to do with years, it just talks about the maturity level, okay? And a lot of people think that maturity is associated to years, but it's really not. It's associated to life experience and how we implement that experience into our lives. That's how that, you know, that that becomes wisdom, you know? And so what I'm getting here is there's very different maturity levels here, okay? King of Pentacles, your energy, you're showing up as very mature. Knight of Wands in the reverse, they got some growing up to do. They got some maturing to do. Um, and it, it could be this energy that's like, yeah, just very unfocused all over the place. Um, and judgment is forcing some kind of a level up, okay? It's forcing some kind of a rise here. The sun in the reverse. Uh, the sun in the upright is the happiest card in the entire tarot deck. So what this is telling me in the reverse is this person may have not been, like, they may not be in the best moment of their life. They may not feel happy, okay, uh, is what I'm getting here. And that some way, somehow is creating some kind of restlessness, okay, in their mind, in their thoughts with the eight of swords and the nine of swords and they feel that around you that doesn't happen their mind is not running a thousand miles an hour it's like you put people's mind at ease you help them be in the present moment and it's like i'm getting this very like neutralizing energy about you okay if their energy is like static or all over the place you know it's like your energy not only grounds it but it will neutralize it and then ground that energy so it's like being around you is medicinal okay it is healing pisces you put people's mind at ease, you quiet their minds, 
Hey, I don't know, Pisces. There's this energy that you may not know that you have this effect on people, but when people meet you, they're naturally like, they naturally trust you. They naturally feel comfortable with you. They may even feel like they've known you all along, okay? Um, and I don't know why it's coming in this way, Pisces, but you feel familiar, okay? Like you, like there's a warm feeling to your energy. As you can see here, all this red in the King of Pentacles represents the root chakra, okay? You see all this like warm, you know, inviting energy coming in. I'm going to go ahead and tap into this card uh, before we move on, Pisces. Uh, I do want to say that the strength in the reverse, they, Pisces, this person knows that you're very strong, okay? That you're very resilient. You don't really have to talk about your life experiences or what it is that you've gone through. People can see it in your eyes, okay? There's something about your eyes. It's like it, it tells stories is what I'm getting, Pisces. Like people feel like you're ancient. Like there's a, there's a whole story behind those eyes. There's an entire journey Okay? that even people that don't have those experiences, that don't have that knowledge, they can pick up on that energy. Okay, And they know that you are very strong, very resilient. Okay, uh, For a lot of you, very independent uh, is what I'm getting here. And it's like when people come in contact with your energy, it shows them a different way of life. It shows them a different energy. Okay, Like your energy is very different. It's not It's not generic. A lot of people, Pisces, they try to fit in. They try to be like everybody else. And energy-wise, it's like everybody pretty much feels the same, okay? That's why a lot of people feel numb and they do things that are, um, they do things that could be reckless, that could be impulsive because they're trying to feel something, okay? Some people would rather feel something than feel numbness. Um, and so I don't know if this person is used to being around a lot of people that are like that, but your energy is different, okay? Um, and some way, somehow, they gravitate towards that. They may not know why, but they gravitate towards it. They want to be around it. Like you're, and there's something about your energy that's embracing Pisces. Like you, you just look very laid back, very chill. Like you're just chuckling. Like Pisces, you may even have a really good sense of humor. You make people laugh is what I'm getting. Your smile, Pisces, makes other people smile. A lot of you Pisces, you're a, you are a dog person is what I'm getting, okay? You may have a dog or you may have multiple dogs, but the wolf represents a loyalty, devotion. Is that leader energy, that lone wolf energy. Spirit is bringing up a quote, Pisces. I got this quote in another reading and Spirit is showing it to me right now. Uh, the quote goes something along the lines of the lion and the tiger may be, uh, may be more powerful okay but the wolf does not perform in the circus okay is what i'm getting so you're not the type pisces to be in with the bunch okay you're not the type to be um like a part of everything else and like everybody like being in large groups that are influenced by the same energy therefore everybody's pretty much the same they live by the same rules they have a very similar energy about them it's like you have more of this like leadership lone wolf energy you don't you don't participate in the circus you don't participate in the drama that's not your vibe okay that's not your crowd okay a lot of you pisces you may not even like crowds okay like you if you have an inner circle it's small okay but it's people that you trust okay people that are loyal uh and i just heard quality over quantity okay so you may be the type of person that doesn't like to be around a whole bunch of other people okay that you like to keep to yourself um and i don't know yeah a lot of you pisces you are dog people okay you may have a lot of dogs uh or you may have a dog Pentacles is representing your energy pisces overflowing material abundance patience and determination a confident and warm leader providing for others comfort and security personal growth goals reach prosperity and success exuding warmth the king of Pentacles welcomes you into his study for a heartfelt conversation about life He's worked his fields, met his soulmate, found wealth, and now he looks out over his dreams, manifested as he offers you one of the tarot's most potent messages of forthcoming abundance and prosperity. The most important thing to be done is to enjoy it all, sweet seer. Enjoy every lesson, challenge, failure, and success. He reminds you to get clear on where you want to be and plan and envision. There is manifesting power in the longing and so much joyful expansion as you bring your greatest potential into existence. Happiness happens when you do better than the last. In the pursuit of personal growth, allow yourself the extravagance of desire. Uh, the rest is a consequence of faith, steady habits, and the courage to cultivate enormous dreams. Dream your biggest light to life. 
I dream my endless potential into existence with steady desire and effort. Okay, that is your affirmation, Pisces. I love this for you, Pisces. I, I love that you're in your power, that you're in your element, because it hasn't felt like that for a while. Uh, I've been doing a lot of personal readings, Pisces. I've been doing a lot of readings in general, um, and I see a very big shift in your energy. And honestly, Pisces, I think that it has to do with it being Pisces season, okay? There's a new version of you. There's a new level up. There's a new upgrade. Um, and it's like you're coming into your power. It's like you're reborn, but you're not starting from square one, Pisces. You're starting from experience. You're starting from a place of success, okay? Whatever work you did in the past, Pisces, set you up for success. And now you're going to be collecting those rewards. Um, and also Pisces, we've been getting a lot of eights in most of your readings. We have eight, eight coming in again. Um, eights represent karma. And for you, Pisces, you got positive karma coming back to you. So just know that, uh, 2244 on the clock, just know that your efforts have not been in vain at all whatsoever. Um, there's something here for you, Pisces, that you may have thought, okay, um, you know, it just is what it is, but it's not, okay? A lot of the things that you've worked towards, a lot of the positive karma, the people that you have helped, it's now starting to, it's now starting to come back in, Pisces, and it's showing up as a reward in your life, okay? The King of Pentacles is the final card, literally, okay? It's literally the final card in the entire tarot deck out of 78 cards. So it's like you're arriving to that final destination destination to that final level where all the energetic work that you've been putting in all the spiritual work all the inner work okay is now starting to reflect in your physical reality because it is a pentacle okay so if you felt like a lot of your manifestations were taking a long time remember that pentacles is literally the slowest moving energy in the entire tarot deck compared to cups and swords and fire wands um but when, it, when it's here, it's here, okay? And that's exactly what I'm getting for you, Pisces. So I do want to go ahead and look into the King of Pentacles for you. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and pull some advice, Pisces. Um, so far, I love this reading for you. I feel that a lot of people are going to be turning to you for help, Pisces, for assistance. Um, you ease people's minds, okay? So just know that if you find people making excuses to talk to you, okay? Like if you're going... You know, if you're going a grocery shopping and you, you see random strangers trying to spark a conversation with you, just know that something in them is telling them to move in your direction, okay? Something about your energy is warm and inviting, okay? You're going to start to notice people opening doors for you, okay? If you're drawing someone letting you go in front of them, okay? Letting you, like, switch into their lane, okay? Smiling, being kind, opening doors, giving you compliments, sparking random conversations at the supermarket, okay? Like, that's exactly what I'm getting, okay? So you're... You're in this energy of being in your power, being grounded and being rooted. And it's like you're exuding some kind of warmth to you, Pisces, that you may not even realize is in your energy. It's in your field. And it's making people want to talk to you. It's making people want to be in your space. You may even notice some people getting closer into your bubble, like maybe even in your personal space. Okay. Um, so I don't know why that's coming in, but uh, people want to be around this kind of energy. Okay. As I split the deck, we have the emperor and the 10 of pentacles. Pisces, you are in your power and this is some way, somehow leading to physical manifestations in your life. Okay. This is literally the wealthiest card in the entire tarot deck. And again, it's a pentacles card. So a lot of this is going to start to show up in your physical reality. Holy Spirit, clarify the King of Pentacles for Pisces. What do you want Pisces to know about the King of Pentacles? What do you want Pisces to know about the King of Pentacles? Get out of here, Pisces. Did you see that? Okay, I just, I split the deck and I seen the Emperor and now it's showing up, okay? When... When spirit wants to say something, Pisces, you best believe no matter how many times you shuffle, the same cards are going to come out. Um, I don't know for who, like, I don't know for who I was reading Pisces, but um, I was feeling guided to reshuffle. And I literally reshuffled four times in a row and I got the same card in the same position. So it was like I got full body chills when that happened. So when spirit wants to say something, Pisces, spirit's going to say it. And what I'm getting here is King of Pentacles and the Emperor are very similar energies, okay? The Emperor is literally the King of Kings, okay? And the King of Pentacles is already a king who has mastered the physical reality, okay? People turn to him for advice, for wisdom, for help. Uh, he is a provider. He is a protector. Whether you're male or female, I'm feeling a very strong masculine energy. So you could be a feminine that has very beautiful, strong, masculine energy, okay? And that's what people don't understand about a Pisces. A Pisces is dualistic. That's why Pisces can flip. Pisces can switch up because they have both the 
the fish that swims downward and the fish that swims upward, okay? They're both the feminine and the masculine. Pisces literally represents duality. So what I'm getting here, Pisces, is right now, I'm getting a very strong, beautiful, grounded, masculine energy about you. In some way, somehow, Harfont, it's helping you tap into a new paradigm in your life, okay? Harfont coming in is saying that you have a very strong connection to the divine. And because you prioritize your connection to the divine, they prioritize your requests. Your wishes always come true. Your manifestations, okay? This is having a direct hotline, okay, to the divine. You see this stairway to heaven, okay? It's like you have a direct line to the divine, okay? It's like you have the divine on speed dial or something, Pisces. You have direct access to the to the above, okay, to heaven, to your angels, to your guides, to your higher self, to God, to the universe, whatever you want to call it, Pisces, the Hierophant is represented by someone who's blissed out, okay, someone who is in a very high frequency, in a very high energy, and as you can see here, in both of these cards, you are depicted as someone who is chuckling, someone who is laughing, okay, I'm feeling this energy of being in a really good mood, Pisces, being in this, um, being in this place where you feel safe, you feel grounded, you feel protected, you feel like everything's good, okay? You are you are attaining the things that you set out for, okay? In some way, somehow, that brings comfort to your heart, okay? It's not wondering if, when, praying, hoping, wishing, begging for certain things to happen or to come into your life is this energy of you know that it is. And not only do you know that it is, it's already starting to happen in your physical reality because we got pentacles coming in. So the emperor is saying, Pisces, um, a lot of people respect you, okay? A lot of people look up to you. And uh, it's, it's, it's a silent kind of respect, Pisces, to where you don't have to speak or scream at the top of your lungs for respect or demand respect. It's something that is just felt energetically, Pisces. When you walk in the room, you shift the energy. And there is this energy of power okay? People don't know your story. They don't know where you come from. They don't know what you've been through, but they can see it in your eyes, okay? Again, the King of Pentacles was showing up as a very wise, ancient, mature energy. Now the Emperor showing up, the King of Kings, and the Hierophant Pisces, uh, you hold a very high position of power with the divine. And now that's starting to reflect into your physical reality, okay? A lot of you Pisces may have thought it should have already happened. It should have already been done. But for a lot of you Pisces, because you're such a good manifester, okay? A lot of the things that you've been working towards and manifesting are very big dreams. And it's, taking, it's taken a while, okay? Rome wasn't built in a day, but King of Pentacles arriving as literally the final destination, the final card in the tarot, um, is saying that you're finally there, Pisces. You are now arriving and you're going to start to see your physical reality shifting, matching your spiritual work, your spiritual advancement, okay? And this is going to be a major level up for a lot of you. So the uh, Emperor and the Hierophant coming in, Pisces. What I'm getting here with the Hierophant, Pisces, is that you may even be called into some kind of position of leadership, okay? Maybe even becoming some kind of a spiritual guide or guru, okay? I don't want to just use that word, but some people may turn to you for spiritual advice and guidance. Uh, the emperor is saying that people trust the way that you lead, okay? People have seen your life, okay? How you've overcome certain things in your life and they trust your leadership, okay? Uh, and again, all of these cards, King of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Harfon are all masculine cards. So this is a woman. If it's a woman or a, a man, your masculine energy is coming in very strongly. And there's a need to embrace that because some way, somehow it is getting you places right now. Okay. So don't be afraid to embrace that energy. Um, a lot of people say that, you know, you have to be tuned into the feminine as well. But the thing is, it depends what stage of your life you're in, okay? If you're getting things done, if you're achieving goals, if you're calling the shots, okay? If you are driven to make some, and it is the beginning of the year, uh, you're going to be tuning into that masculine energy to get it done, okay? Feminine is receiving. It's just being. It's just flowing, okay? But masculine is actually moving mountains. It's making things happen. It's kicking down doors, taking names. And what I'm getting here, Pisces, is it's time to make things happen. It's time to take some action. You have everything you need. You have all the knowledge that you already need. And if you've been waiting on something, Pisces, the final step is the implementation, okay? And this is why I'm feeling so much masculine coming in, okay? I'm feeling so much masculine energy coming in because there's something here, Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck, that you're being called to do. And it's in relation to your goals and your dreams, okay? And what I'm getting is you already know what that is. You already know why you want it. 
but now the small tweak is the implementation okay that's what i'm getting here so don't know for who that message is for but the emperor is card number four and that is all about building strong foundations for everything that you want to have in your life okay uh, a strong foundation is going to help support everything that you want to accomplish. Holy Spirit, clarify the Emperor for Pisces. What do you want Pisces to know about the Emperor? What do you want Pisces to know about the Emperor, Holy Spirit? And I saw the Ten of Pentacles peeking its head out again. Okay, we got the Five of Cups in the reverse. And we got the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Pisces, um, you know what I'm getting here is... You're going to be looking at some of your traumas and hardships and you're going to be saying thank you, okay? Thank you because it got you to where you wanted to go. And if you hadn't, and this this is the hard part, okay? When you haven't arrived to that destination, when you haven't been able to connect the dots, um, you're not able to appreciate those hardships. You're not able to appreciate those lessons. It's until you get to where you've always wanted to be, it's until you receive those manifestations that then you feel grateful, okay? And a lot of you are finally arriving to that final destination, which is the King of Pentacles. Um, and I'm getting a little bit of this futuristic energy of just seeing you looking back at all the sadnesses, all the pain, all the traumas and the lessons, and just being grateful, Pisces. Grateful that it molded your character and it shaped you to be the emperor, the king that you are, whether you're male or female, okay? It's helped you achieve a position of power. The Hierophant coming in, Major Arcana, okay? This is the priest, literally. Uh, is someone who has a direct connection to God, to the divine. And you're here to serve a mission. You're here to serve a purpose, Pisces. And you know that, okay? You already know that. You feel it in your heart. You're the type, Pisces, to follow your spirit, to follow your soul, to follow your heart, okay? So if it's calling you, Pisces, to do something, to implement something right now is the time. Again, we are coming into the month of March. We're coming into springtime. And this is the best season, Pisces, where those seeds start to grow, okay? Um, it's, it's in alignment with what it is that you want to accomplish, Pisces. So if you've been waiting for a confirmation or a sign, right now is the time to start, okay? Right now is the time to take the first step, okay? And finish what you start is what I'm getting here. So Hierophant coming in, card number five. Fives are all about change and freedom, okay? Transformation. I am my own guru and the guidance I need is rooted in my faith, my belief in my unique essence, tradition, a lesson, a uh, spiritual leader or guide, enlightenment, awakening, in service of spirit, formal education or training, new paradigms. As you search for your divine truth, you create frameworks of belief that help you to expand your consciousness and ground your faith into this reality. If you've been stuck in an old tradition or a structured way of acting or being that is no longer serving you, it is time to let it fall away in order to make space for a better version of you. Harfont serves as a gateway between divine source and the seeker so be open to new paradigms perspectives and teachers in your life look to the patterns around you and strive to understand your own internal compass while there is wisdom in the teachings of the mystics the voice of your own heart is the voice that matters most uh find the wisdom of the heavens within okay you are connected pisces and we got the moon coming in at the bottom of the deck your intuition is going to start to kick in pisces your psychic abilities are going to start to kick in okay so be ready for that pisces because that was the initial message that i was getting with the eight of swords some people are even watching their thoughts around you because you can pick up on the energy okay pisces i don't know how you do this but you're very tuned in you're very much aware Okay? It's like there can be uh, two people having a conversation in a room and you're not present in that room. You just arrived and you can energetically pick up on what it is that they talked about. You can energetically pick up on what's going on. Okay, And your logical mind may not even register it as fast as your intuition does Okay, because your intuition is like water. It just flows. It's not... Is not the right brain or you know this like logical way of making sense of things it's just an inner knowing it's just a feeling okay so trust that because this is why this is why a lot of people think that pisces are that pisces can see the future or pisces can predict the future is because your intuition is already 10 steps ahead so that's what it is pisces is you trusting your intuition and following your guidance you may not know why you're being guided to do something pisces you may not even be able to explain it to others okay but your intuition doesn't need to be explained okay it is innate it is natural it is already wired within you so trust that pisces because it's going to take you places uh and it may be it may be something that is hard to connect with other people because some people don't don't develop their intuition like that some people don't prioritize their intuition like that um or even pay attention to their intuition a lot of people go the logical route okay a lot of people want to be able to make sense of things uh whereas you just trust 
okay? You just allow yourself to be led and guided by the divine, by God, um, and not, you don't always know why, Pisces, but you still follow that intuition, okay? And eventually, eventually you figure out why. Eventually you understand why things happened. Tell me more, Holy Spirit, what do you want Pisces to know about the Hierophant coming in? What do you want Pisces to know about the Hierophant coming in? Okay, we got the Nine of Wands in the reverse and the Two of Swords in the upright. Tell me more. We got the Nine of Pentacles, Pisces. I can't even tell you the amount of times I keep getting this card in private readings and, you know, readings here on YouTube as well. But this card has been showing up for you so many times, okay? It is the theme for your birthday, a harvest. We got the Magician coming in and the Six of Swords and the Devil. Pisces, some people may get fixated on your energy. They may get fixated on you. Something about your energy is addicting, okay? Something about your energy pulls people in. It draws them in. They may not understand why, but they feel a connection. They feel a pull to you. The magician showing up. You may not even understand, Pisces, how you operate, how you do things. It's like you think about it one moment, and the next you're already manifesting it into your reality. So what I'm getting here, Pisces, is uh, the Two of Swords talks about having some kind of a, a blocked energy, okay, or a divided energy. And what I'm seeing here is if you felt that, Pisces, you've already cleared it. It's been officially cleared out of your energy, and things are going to start to flow easier and smoother in your life things are just going to start to happen naturally okay because you are riding the positive momentum of the work that you've been uh that you've been putting in okay towards your goals towards your dreams it's finally starting to manifest it may have taken a while because we have pentacles uh and pentacles are slow moving but it's finally happening okay a lot of you pisces with the magician showing up you're going to be manifesting out of thin air okay you may not even be able to explain to people how it is that you manifest certain opportunities certain things into your life but it is happening okay and so many somehow you're manifesting your way into the nine of pentacles your harvest your abundance your prosperity the devil some people are noticing pisces they are noticing you okay and there is a little bit of an unhealthy fixation on you okay this person can think about you a lot. Uh, they can even desire you, okay? The devil can even talk about an energy of lust, desire, or, you know, obsession, okay? Fixation. Uh, an energy of overindulgence, okay? An energy of escapism through addictions. Um, so what I'm getting here, Pisces, is you may attract a lot of unhealed people, okay? Because of your healing energy, because of your connection to the divine. And it feels like you already know that, okay? Uh, but what I'm getting here, Pisces, is the Six of Swords is saying you still have to do what is best for you, okay? No matter what other people expect from you, no matter what other people may want from you, you gotta prioritize you first, Pisces. You are the only one that plays for your own team and it is your responsibility to protect yourself, to protect your energy and to accomplish the things that you want, okay? Do not give in to other people's requests, demands, or desires for your time or your energy, okay? Because the devil in the, in the upright can talk about giving your energy into a connection that's just depleting you, okay? Illuminate the things that are vying for your time, your energy, and your love that leave you feeling empty. Remember that addictions don't necessarily look scary and demonic until they do. Seek liberation from the bindings that are keeping you trapped and untether yourself in darkness. Look to fragmented aspects of self as a source of light. Um, so yes, Pisces, again, it's like relationships or connections in your life where you keep people around or you just hang out or, you know, you just kind of go with it, but it's, it's not really giving anything to you. It's not mutually beneficial. You may be good for them, but they may not be good for you is what I'm getting. So just, uh, you know, be careful with your energy, be conservative with your energy and, uh, prioritize yourself. Okay. At all times, Pisces. Also, what I'm getting here is we got, uh, Capricorn energy coming in, Gemini energy coming in. Uh, Libra, Aquarius, um, Gemini, so yeah, air sign, um, and fire sign, Aries also coming in. You may have multiple people, Pisces, that have taken interest in you, okay? Multiple people tapping in and out of your energy. And I'm getting here, Pisces, that there was a shift within you where you're coming into your power. You're now in your element, okay? The emperor and the king of pentacles to the Hierophant. You are in your masculine energy. You are in your power, whether you're male or female, and it's drawing people in. People from your past are going to be reaching out, Pisces. Um, I'm getting here, Pisces. Someone is being reminded of you constantly, okay? Wherever they look, whatever they do, they're constantly being reminded of you. And I'm getting that this is a different person than the person that we were talking about in the beginning, okay? Multiple people trying to be connected to you, Pisces, but not all of them are meant to be there, okay? Uh, so I'm just getting that 
that very specifically. Uh, for some of you, I'm getting an Aries. Okay, it doesn't necessarily have to be an Aries, but it's like you can feel this connection fizzling out. Okay, Pisces is you know when people are genuine and sincere. You know when people have hidden agendas or hidden motives. And when you see a different side of a person, Pisces, uh, it's like no fake love, okay? No fake love. You can tell uh, when something is no longer beneficial or when something is no longer, you know, meant to be in your life. And this could be a person, okay? This person can feel that this connection is starting to fizzle out with you and they're trying to find ways to reconnect. But it's like you can feel, Pisces, that the energy is not genuine. So it's like don't feel... Don't feel obligated to give this person your time or your energy, okay? Just out of being polite or out of being kind or, you know, out of just being nice. Like, don't feel the need to do that, okay? Uh, if you feel some, some connection starting to move away, it's for a reason, okay? Um, this person doesn't deserve to be in your energy is what I'm getting. And I'm going to go ahead and clarify that a little bit more, but... I'm getting that this person Pisces, this Pisces may have approached you with hidden intentions and hidden motives, okay? This person wants something from you, okay? Uh, is what I'm getting here. And so you may have either energetically picked up on it or it's like, why is this person being so nice to me? Or why is this person always wanting to hang out? Or, you know, like not understanding where, like it's good that people are nice or it's good that people are kind, but it's like you knew that there was something beneath the surface. You knew that there was something that you know, they want it, okay? It's kind of like, you know, if you have kids, Pisces, it's kind of like they do chores and they start to clean up the house and stuff and then they ask you for something. It's kind of like that. Um, not to say that it's like good or bad, but it's like, it's an energy like that. Like, you know, that this person wants something from you. So it's like they're doing something nice or they're, you know, kind of just being overly helpful or, but you just feel that there's something that's not genuine or sincere. And you can feel intuitively that this person wants something from you. Um, so what I'm getting here, Pisces, is you start to distance yourself from this person. And as they feel this connection slipping away, they're trying to re-enter. But it's like you have a bad taste about it, okay? It's not, it doesn't feel right is what I'm getting. So it's like if, if you're being guided in a different direction, Pisces, do so. Don't feel compromised. Don't feel the need to stick around. Um, and this feels like a separate person, okay? Because in the beginning, I was tapping into one person. Now this is coming in as someone else. And the thing is, Pisces, the Nine of Pentacles is pre empress energy. It's a very attractive energy. So I wouldn't be surprised if you have multiple people in your energy, multiple people coming back, multiple people trying to entertain you or talk to you. Um, that's what I'm getting. But some of them, Pisces, are coming from this devil energy, okay? They don't know why, okay? They don't know how, but they feel like they need to be in your life. They feel like they need to be connected to you. As you can see, all the ties to this person. As you're manifesting something here, I'm going to go ahead and clarify the magician for you. Okay, magician in the Harfang, okay? Two major arcanas. I feel like a lot of masculine energy, okay, in your energy, Pisces. Clarify the magician for Pisces. Holy Spirit, what do you want Pisces to know about the magician? King of Swords in the reverse. Okay, that's a lot of cards. I'm actually not going to take these cards. I'm going to shuffle one more time. Clarify the magician for Pisces, Holy Spirit. What do you want Pisces to know about the magician? Queen of Wands in the upright. We got the lovers in the reverse. So the magician and the lovers is both Gemini energy, queen of pentacles. We got three queens, Pisces, showing up to clarify the magician and the lovers. I have no idea what just happened, okay? All of a sudden, we have three queens. We had all this masculine energy coming in with the king of pentacles, the emperor, and the harfant. And now, all of a sudden, we got queen energy showing up. Why is it in the reverse? Queen of pentacles in the reverse. I'm going to pull a clarifier. Uh, Queen of Swords in the reverse. Let's see here. Ace of Cups in the upright. And then we got the Chariot in the upright. Pisces, I feel... Um, okay, I feel like two things coming in, okay? One side of you wants to stay focused and clear and dedicated to your goals, okay? And pursuing those goals and attaining that, okay? With the Chariot coming in. And another side of you wants to be open to new connections and new relationships, okay? Um, and I feel like it's not a pick and choose kind of situation, but the lovers in the reverse talks about separation, miscommunication, maybe even potentially, you know, putting a pause on your romantic relationships or kind of like that. It looks like your romantic relationships or relationships in general are not necessarily a priority in your life, okay? I see that there's potential for a new beginning here with the Ace of Cups, but I'm seeing that you're more so... You're more so tuning into your logic, into your thinking, 
to the things that you want to pursue, okay? Because in the past, you may have found that even though you had a lot of people wanting to connect with you, even though you had a lot of people that were interested in you, maybe wanted to be your friend or wanted to be in a relationship with you, that it didn't really get you anywhere. It didn't really move the ball in the direction that you wanted it to go. It didn't really get you to the places that you wanted to be in life when it comes to your goals and your achievements, okay? So I'm getting that there's a side of you that wants to open up to connections and relationships because it's simply, you know, that's where fulfillment and happiness can come from okay our connection to our family to other people to our relationships so i see that i see that coming in but i also see this other side of you that's like no okay that's like i need to do this i need to do this and i need to do that and i need to stay focused uh so chariot coming in there's this drive about you there's this motivation about you to get things done to get the ball going in the direction that you want it to, to go in and there's only so much that you can prioritize, okay? That's why it's a priority. Are you gonna prioritize this or that, okay? A lot of people talk about having life balance, but oftentimes that balance is not as, you know, as a lot of people say that it is. You know, it's not like, okay, I'm gonna do a couple hours here, a couple hours there, I'm gonna have this family life or this work life. Like, oftentimes, balance doesn't really work that way, okay? So a lot of people think, oh, something's wrong with me, but no, there are chapters in your life where you're gonna be very dedicated to your work, to your achievements. There's chapters in your life where you're gonna be more open to relationships and connections. And what I'm seeing here, Pisces, because we got all this masculine energy coming in, you're more in this energy of, I gotta get things done, okay? Because at the end of the day, people come and go, but I'm gonna be here with me. So I need to build something that's gonna be here. I need to build something that's gonna be a foundation that's not going to, is not going to be this ebb and flow and highs and lows like people can be, very unreliable. So I feel this energy, Pisces, where you're prioritizing your foundation, you're prioritizing your stability, your finances, your resources, your business, your career, whatever it is, okay? Masculine energy is all about doing. Um, and I'm seeing that there's a side of you that does want this, okay? That does want this new beginning, um, but I'm not seeing this be the top priority in your life, okay? We have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. I'm seeing a counterpart. I'm seeing a divine counterpart coming in. Uh, but for a lot of you Pisces, your focus is very much on your work. So if this is a person that's going to help you build that, if this is a person that's going to influence you in, in a positive way, okay, I'm seeing that you may be open to that. But at this time, you're kind of riding solo. You're kind of doing your own thing. I see you on this uh, on this carriage, Pisces. You're not slowing down for anybody, Pisces. The chariot coming in. You're very dedicated. You're very motivated at this time. And this is a major arcana showing up for you. Queen of Swords in the reverse. To some people, you may come off is very direct and very cold but the thing is pisces you know what it is that you want and you're not going to bs okay you're not going to beat around the bush okay is what i'm getting because in the past you may have you kind of may have been spread thin is what i'm getting pisces because the five of cups can talk about ending up with an empty cup okay whereas the ace of cups is a full cup it's a full heart you're ready to love you're ready to give because you prioritize yourself first so I'm getting a lot of movement, Pisces. 2024 is your year, okay? 100%. This is your lucky year. A lot of good things are coming in for you. And I'm just feeling this drive, this motivation of you're no longer placing your attention outside of yourself, okay? You're no longer prioritizing other people or other relationships above your goals and your needs, okay? And that's actually changing up the game for you. That's putting the power back in your court, okay? That's putting the ball back in your court, Pisces, and people can feel that about you. They feel a shift in power. They feel a shift in the dynamic, okay? And it's causing people to pursue you, okay? It's causing people to want to be in your energy, and I'm not getting one person, okay? I'm getting more than two people, okay? Wanting to connect, wanting to tap into your energy here. Holy Spirit, any final advice for Pisces? Any final advice for Pisces, Holy Spirit? Anything else you would want Pisces to know? And I just seen the High Priestess of the Moon again. Your intuition is on point right now, Pisces, so trust it. Okay, we got the king of wands in the reverse. We got the death and rebirth in the upright. We got the ten of cups in the upright. Ace of wands. We got two aces coming in and a three of wands. Pisces with the king of wands in the reverse for spirit's advice is... I'm getting that spirit is advising you, Pisces, to shut down, okay? Shut down anyone who tries to project onto you, okay? Uh, the king of wands can be perceived as someone who is very, very much... Uh, driven by their own goals okay some people can call the king of wands in the reverse someone who is self-absorbed someone who could be selfish someone who only prioritizes their own needs but i'm getting here pisces that this is your time okay this is your time pisces 
to achieve your goals. This is your time to be selfish. This is your permission slip, Pisces, to be selfish, to prioritize yourself, your needs, and your goals. Okay, so King of Wands in the reverse. Um, Spirit wants you to know, Pisces, shut it down. Okay, if anyone tries to say, hey, you know, you're not spending enough time with me, um, or they have expectations of you of your time, shut it down, Pisces, because this is, it takes, it takes being selfish in order to be selfless. You can't pour from empty cups. So this is the time, Pisces, to build your empire. This is the time to focus all your energy, your efforts, and your attention on your goals, on your achievements. Okay? Do not just give your energy so freely to people, Pisces. Prioritize your needs first. No matter how people perceive you, no matter what they project onto you, Pisces, Spirit is saying shut it down. Okay, Shut it down. Assert yourself in the way that you need to. It is okay to have an ego. Everybody does. The people who say they don't have an ego, okay, that's the biggest ego. Like That's even worse than admitting that you have one because we all do. And there's a healthy, positive side to the ego, Pisces. It helps us accomplish. It helps us do. It helps us you know, with our confidence and our self-esteem. And what I'm getting here, Pisces, is this is your time to shine, okay? Uh, I was getting the message in your last reading that you know, there was some kind of makeover coming in, okay? So whatever you need to do, Pisces, to feel better, okay? If you look good, you feel good. If you feel good, you look good, okay? However you want to apply that in your life, death and rebirth. Shut it down, Pisces. People that want to project things onto you, who want, who feel entitled to your time, to your energy, shut it out, Pisces, with death and rebirth. They're going to be seeing a different side to you that they didn't know that you had, okay? In death and rebirth, is also card number 13. One plus three is four, okay? I'm seeing a lot of fours in your reading. You may be seeing four, four, four four okay fours are all about discipline building foundations it is building an empire one brick at a time literally okay so you are in a building period you're in a building phase pisces and not everybody gets to come with you uh ten of cups through this effort pisces through this investment in self you are coming into your fulfillment your happiness this is the happy endings card okay and it is happening through you prioritizing your needs and your wants even if people say that you're selfish okay ace of wands you're going to be met with the passionate brand new beginning that turns into the three of wands see how we go from the ace being the number one to the three of wands there's a major leap happening here to where your ships are coming in and you can feel it pisces energetically you can already feel the shift Okay, and I'm getting goosebumps as I say this, Pisces. This is one of the most positive readings I've done in a while, okay? And we got the star at the bottom of the deck. The reason you're even going through this process, Pisces, is to make uh, is to make a dream come true, okay? It's to reel in the star, and it's finally happening for you, Pisces. I just want to say congratulations, Pisces. Victory, speed, action, determination, harnessing, and uniting opposing energy, success, travel, confidence, willpower, and control. The universe constantly gives us the opportunity to become the person we want to be. Again, this is what it is, Pisces. There's a change of identity. You are coming into your power, okay? You are becoming the person you always long to be. Uh, it's a magical time for taking action, okay? With willpower and determination because you will get there. Remember, an action is the same as deciding to stay still. The chariot reminds you that while you're on your way to your goal, you need to make decisions about the best path forward. If you feel pulled in two different directions, know that you will be able to coax both of these energies towards the same target. Charging ahead without paying attention to the path can sometimes be harmful to those in your wake, so take care not to trample on others on your way up the mountain. Choose the thing that you really want, focus your efforts, and move swiftly. If you aren't sure what your direction is, then it's time to make some plans, align goals, and spark dreams. I choose who I am becoming, and I run towards it with conviction and consistent motion. Pisces, you got this, okay? Uh, today is the first, okay? I'm filming this on the first today. Um, so it feels like you're starting off, Pisces. You're getting some kind of a head start. You're starting off with the right energy. Feels very refreshing, Pisces. You got this, okay? King of Pentacles, the Emperor to the Hierophant. You are in your power, Pisces, and that is drawing a lot of people to you, okay? The star coming in as the final card. You are bringing a dream into reality. This manifestation is real, okay? It's becoming real because we got Pentacles. So what I'm getting here is you have the knowledge, you have everything you need. Now it's about the implementation, okay? Don't let anyone slow you down, Pisces. You got this. Uh, Pisces, this is all I have for your reading. If you would like to book a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. Blessings. Take care.